Zlazinger is an English sporting goods manufacturer which concentrates on racket sports including tennis, cricket and hockey. Established in 1885, it is today one of the oldest surviving sporting brand names. History Zlazinger was founded in 1881 by a pair of Jewish brothers, Ralph and Albert Zlazinger. In 1881 Ralph Zlazinger left his native Manchester and opened a shop on London's Cannon Street selling rubber sporting goods. Zlazinger quickly became a leading manufacturer of sporting equipment for golf and tennis. Four years after the All England Lawn Tennis and Croquet Club held its first ever championships, Zlazingers produced the new game of lawn tennis complete in a box. Their plant in Barnsley manufactured tennis balls and exported them round the world. It closed in 2002, and production is now based in the Philippines. In 1902 Zlazingers were appointed as the official tennis ball supplier to the championships, Wimbledon and, with the current deal set to run until 2015, it remains one of the longest unbroken sporting sponsorships in history. In 1910 Zlazinger floated on the stock market. War years, in 1940, extensive bombing during the Second World War saw a merger between Zlazinger, Sykes, Gridditch and Ayres. Probably a little-known fact was the Zlazinger Sykes Gridditch and Ayres contribution to the World War II effort. With government contracts in hand the company set about manufacturing a wide variety of items for use during the war. Mainly utilizing their expertise in wood manufacturing the company produced many various items. On September 15, 1940 during a heavy air raid on London, incendiary bombs fell on the Zlazinger factory. The Gridditch factory in Woolwich also suffered similar fate. The Sykes factory at Horbury was undamaged by the bombings, and although Zlazinger and Gridditch were able to continue production at other centres it was perhaps a sign of the times that the four companies decided to pool their resources and form an association to work for the nation's war effort and then ultimately in peacetime. Henceforth the company was known as Zlazinger Sykes Gridditch and Ayres. The following lists just a small snapshot of some of their larger contracts completed for HM government in the years 1939 a Euro 1945, as recorded by Zlazingers, Gridditch, Sykes and Ayres in 1946, at its peak, in its heyday the empire of Zlazingers Gridditch Sykes and Ayres stretched across the world with either licensed distributors or agents and or manufacturing operations in which the company had partnerships or licensing agreements with. Distributors were flung far and wide as far away as New Zealand and Africa, in remote places such as Iceland, Newfoundland, Madagascar and even Bolivia. Selling a brand, it is probably fair to say that technology and to some extent complacency, played a major part in the rise and fall of this famous brand. In the days when wooden tennis rackets held no peer, brands such as Lazinger and Dunlop were a dominant force in the world but with the popularity of the metal tennis rackets from the early 1980s and then the fast transition to even more popular composite materials such as fiberglass, graphite, Kevlar and so on more and more brands became available to the consumer. Having a choice was fashionable. The new brands became popular due to their ability to meet the consumer trends and demand for the new technology. Zlazinger was slow to react. They could not re-gear their existing factories to produce these products and the new materials, they already had huge investment in plant and raw materials. The company tried to market its product against these new products using quality as the crux of the selling features, but the imports quickly improved their quality, soon Zlazinger no longer could hold favor with the public. The brand slowly fell from grace. 1959 Ralph Slazinger Jr. sells the family business to Dunlop Rubber. 1985, Dunlop Rubber is purchased by BTR PLC, which forms a sports group combining Slazinger with the Dunlop Sport branded goods. 1996, BTR sells Dunlop Sport in a management buyout for a £300 million. The buyout was backed by investment company Sinvan. The new company is known as Dunlop Slazinger. 2004, Sinvan sells Dunlop Slazinger to Sports Direct International for a reported A40 million pounds, who in turn sold on the rights to the Slazinger Golf brand in Europe to JJB Sports. Global rights and licensing, with the purchase of Dunlop Slazinger by Sports World International did not come the global rights to the brand. 
SWI has chosen not to diversify the brands it has acquired internally, and thus strain their own resources and finances, but to license them globally. With Zlazinger this has been achieved successfully, with the Zlazinger name being seen on a wide range of products not previously associated with the brand, such as sunglasses, toiletries and push bikes. In Australia and New Zealand, the Zlazinger brand is owned and licensed by Pacific Brands, with full and exclusive rights to sell and distribute throughout those territories. From the early 2000s due to poor management sales plummeted. Rather than investing in the brand, the Zlazinger management began downsizing staff numbers, closing branches, cutting back long-standing sponsorship as well as tripping back costs elsewhere within the business. Despite these radical moves the Zlazinger brand still ultimately offered no real return to Pacific brands and in 2010 November they sub-licensed it to Spartan Sports who had been operating in Australia since 2005 and is owned by Spartan Sports in Jalantor, India. Sponsorships During its peak, many famous cricket players such as Sir Don Bradman, Sir Garfield Sobers, Sir Viv Richards, Sir Len Hutton, Dennis Compton, Rowan Kanhai, Mark Waugh and Jeffrey Boycott used Zlazinger's bats and products. The players who are sponsored by Zlazinger currently are noted below. Current cricket endorsements, players, England, James Anderson, Paul Collingwood, Owen Morgan, Adil Rashid, Jason Roy, Tom Smith, Tom Westley, Johnny Bairstow, South Africa, Jack Callis, Australia, Steve Smith, References